I'm Lucy, coming from a small town on the outskirts of the city. I love making beautiful cakes and sharing amazing stories. Today, let's make a chocolate cake together. Everyone loves chocolate, right? After breaking the eggs and whisking them with sugar, let's add in the flour and fresh milk. Hey there, what are you up to? I've got a gift for you. Wow, that's wonderful. Come in and wait for me. Just in time. I'll use these for the chocolate cake base. Now let's mix the batter evenly. Alright, pour it into the mold and bake for 30 minutes at 300 degree Fahrenheit. Hey Lisa, I have some rainbow chocolates. Try some. Wow, these are absolutely delicious. Our cake is ready. Let's cut it. Now let's pipe the cream between all layers. You're so skillful, Lucy. Thank you for the compliment. With enough practice, you can make beautiful cakes too. Remember to frost the outside of the cake evenly. Now, let's decorate the cake any way you like. I really enjoyed this part. This is the whipped cream I made. It's so soft that it'll flow gently and look very pretty. Add some sprinkles on top and at the base of the cake. some chocolates left? Do you want to learn about them? Wait for me in the next video. Insert a few rainbow chocolate sticks and we're done with the cake. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please comment below. Wow, the cake looks stunning, Lucy. Let's give it a taste. So yummy! Oh hi friend! Thanks for your M&M candy! Good morning everyone! Today, I will make a M&M chocolate cake. Do you like my powder mixer? Baking time! I will make some melted chocolate.
Let's decorate together. Do you like to tear cake? An M&M &M candy. We are. I want to enjoy it now. Yummy, yummy. Welcome to Miniature, a land where houses are dollhouse sized, and even the clouds taste like cotton candy. Today, we zoom in on Jenny's Bakery, a whimsical wonderland where cakes aren't just desserts, they're masterpieces, and Jenny isn't alone in her sugar-coated adventures. Meet Caddy, her perfect baking partner. Caddy wasn't just your average feline. She had a nose for sweetness that could sniff out a hidden chocolate chip from a mile away. She was Jenny's secret ingredient, her whisker-licking quality control. Together, they were an unstoppable baking duo. Jenny whisked and chopped, while Caddy supervised with regal meow mans and the occasional paw print in the frosting. A special Caddy-approved swirl, of course. Her fluffy wiper would dust with flour-like icing sugar, and her eyes glittered with the promise of sweet treats. Finally, the cake was ready. A towering masterpiece of rainbow layers, fluffy frosting, and enough sprinkles to make a disco ball jealous. Caddy, pale twitching with anticipation, took the first bite. Her eyes widened, and a perumble like a miniature earthquake erupted from her tiny chest. Word of Jenny's magical cakes, and her whisker-licking partner in crime, spread like wildfire through miniature. Soon, everyone from hardworking ants to fluttering fairies craved a slice of Jenny's magic. The bakery became a bustling hub of laughter, crumbs, and purrs. And so, the baking adventures of Jenny and Caddy continued, filling Miniatra with sweetness, laughter, and the perfect touch of feline magic. They were a reminder that even the smallest creatures can create something grand, as long as they have a dream, a whisk, and a loyal, whisker-licking friend by their side. So, remember, bakers and cat lovers alike Never underestimate the power of friendship, imagination, and a good sprinkle of purrs. Now go forth, bake your own slice of joy, and maybe, just maybe, you'll find your own caddy waiting to share the sweetness with you. with this.
Oh no. I need some more, Kaney. Okay, but you have to wait a few minutes. Thank you. Hmm. It's come. Aha. Uh -huh. again. Stupid cat, don't let me catch you. Give the chocolate a hand in melting faster.
Need to wait another 30 minutes for baking. like a sofa now. Wrap the sofa using fondant. it again. Can I get this flower basket, please? Here you are. Thank you. Take my money. Thank you. Let's make colors using these flowers. shape mold. Enjoy with me. So 
yummy. What does the dolphin say? I need a jelly. It's here. It's mine. No. Right. I will make it by myself.
yummy. Delicious. Let's check it out. Wow, they are recycling a water bottle. Amazing. I'll use bottle to make jelly. To start, cut off the bottle. We'll use it soon. Now, cut the fruits into small pieces. In the meantime, let's making gems. We've got ocean blue color now. This jelly dessert will be very eye catching. It's time to use bottle caps. Put a Kit Kat brand on it. Try it and see if it's delicious. So yummy! Hey there! Remember me? It's Lucy, back in your town. Join me today as I have a special treat in store. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. First up, look at these colorful fondant pieces. Let's mold them into tiny balls. Done! Now, let's move on to the next step. Follow my lead. Oops, I need some eggs for the cake batter. Let's give these hens a treat first. Thanks for the eggs, my little helpers. Now, crack these eggs into a bowl, sprinkle some sugar. Add a dash of vanilla if you've got any, and whisk until the sugar dissolves. Now, in goes the flour and fresh milk. But remember, just the right amount. Mix it all together until every ingredient is beautifully blended. Pour the 
mixture into the cake mold. Oh, by the way, I saved some cake from yesterday. Let's indulge together, my friends. We have a lot to talk, okay? Meet my dear friend, Nina. It's been a while since I saw her. She moved to another city. I have so much to catch up on with her. Once we finish this cake, we'll join her for a lovely tea break. Didn't you know chocolate is a favorite for many when it comes to birthday cakes? With vanilla trailing behind? The famous German chocolate cake isn't even from Germany. An American named Samuel German crafted a dark baking chocolate in 1852. It later got its name from a recipe in 1957 titled German's Chocolate Cake. Fascinating, right? Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to make this iconic dessert. Okay, now it's time to attach these colorful square fondants. We're almost done! them on top of the fondant balls we shaped earlier. But remember, design it your way. You don't have to copy me. Sprinkle some multicolored edible confetti in the center of the cake. And voila! Our masterpiece is complete. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. Stay excited for our next culinary adventure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Wow, the cake is so delicious, so yummy! Fantastic cake, right? Let's start making it. some magic tricks? Tada! We will have rainbow chocolate. Let's see how 
how it tastes. Savory. Hey, baking buddies. Welcome back to my kitchen. Where today, we're embarking on a colorful culinary adventure. We're making a chocolate rainbow cake. Get ready to unleash your inner artist and transform ordinary ingredients into a vibrant explosion of color and flavor. She gently whisks the yolks with some vegetable oil and fresh milk, creating a silky smooth batter that promises fluffy, moist cake layers. Now comes the secret weapon, flour and sugar. We meticulously mix the ingredients until they're happily combined. Next, it's time to whip up some magic in the form of egg whites. Now comes the fun part, incorporating the egg whites into our batter, contributing to the cake's heavenly texture. Carefully pours the batter into a cake pan, ensuring it's evenly distributed. I place it in the oven. It's warm embrace promising to transform the batter into a golden masterpiece. With a steady hand and a sprinkle of creativity, I gently cut the cake into three layers, creating a blank canvas for my artistic vision. Then, I'll spread a layer of creamy buttercream, the perfect base for the rainbow colors to shine. We dip into her rainbow-colored buttercream palette and paint the cake with vibrant strokes, creating a breathtaking spectacle. Then we add finishing touches with melted chocolate sauce. Transforming the one simple cake into a work of art. Alright, baking buddies. The moment has arrived. Let's cut into this rainbow beauty and share the joy of baking. Take a bite and savor the symphony of flavors that awaits your taste buds. One, two, three. Hmm. Strawberries will be the main flavor of today's cake. You can't go without a strawberry. Clean it thoroughly to avoid dust. Ready to make strawberry jam. Starting to make the cake now. Thank you. 
shape the cake to look like a strawberry. The cake is quite attractive. Almost done with a little more decorating. Check if it's as delicious as it appears. Can't believe it! Amazingly yummy! Aha! Here's your money! Thank you! is very colorful. Wow! Check out this marble run! Run now, let's go! This is really exciting! I'll go home and make marble candy! Let's begin by chopping fruits!
Add some kiwi and mango. Fantastic. into the mold. We can go with five colors. Does it look like marbles yet? Incredibly good. Gotta try another. Good morning. Did you have any plan for today? Today, I will make a rainbow cake. Get the flower. Mix it, mix it. Let's see my magic. And then, I will make a tiny rainbow. I like my rainbow. Which color do you like most? So 
smell. Rainbow time! Do you want to enjoy it with me? So colorful! Enjoy your meal! Oh my god, yummy! 